Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking the time of your day to watch this quick video analysis I did for you. In this marketing analysis, I'm going to show you exactly how much business your website's bringing you versus your top competitor and show you how to dominate online searches when someone is looking for roofing services in Minneapolis. All right? um, so as you can see, we're on my company page. My company's AMP Local. We're an internet marketing agency specializing in search engine optimization. So that's pretty much that's what we're doing. We're going to be optimizing your website for Google searches for roofing in Minneapolis. All right. Um, so as we can see, we're on your site. All right, stormgrouproofing.com. Um, so as you may already know, 90% of people, when they need a product or service, especially roofing, they're going to use Google, and 96% are going to click from the very first page. Okay. Um, so let me show you right now uh, in Minneapolis, roofing contractors or anything related to roofing services get searched um, nearly 5,000 times per month, you know, so an average of 3,500 upwards of 5,500 times per month year-round, okay? So there's a lot of business to be had year-round, even during the winter times, people are searching. Um, so as you can see, we can target all the keywords that we would want to rank your business for. Roofing contractors, roofing, roof roofing companies, metal roofing, um, roofing contractor, flat roof, roof repair, Roof replacement, re-roof, you, you name it, the, the list goes on. We're able to target all the most profitable keywords to rank your business in, um, pretty much. By sh that's what I want to show you by showing you this. Um, so to find you, we typed in Minneapolis Roofing. Okay, this is probably the most profitable keyword search, okay, the most common one. Um, so we didn't find you in the local maps, all right, and we'll get into how we do that. And we found you ranked number one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, rank number eight on page one right here. Okay. So let me show you this chart. Number one rank person controls about 30, 30 to 35% of all the clicks on the whole page. All right. At number eight, you're getting around 4%, three to 4% um, of the total clicks. So if a hundred people hit the page, um, for you know you're getting only about three hits to your site versus your top competitor that's getting you know 30 to 35 hits out of every hundred and I mean this is getting searched hundreds of times per month so there's a lot of potential leads there all right um, so that's a good thing I'm glad that you you are on the first page we know where you're at so it's gonna be very easy for us to show you the progression to show you how you're gonna grow because literally the further you move up in these searches the more business you're gonna get that's just the way it works um, so right now your business is pulling in around 40 or so um, uh, you know visitors per month um, and obviously there's a conversion of you know visitors to uh, sales um, so that's not bad uh, but let me show you your top competitor all right these guys are this is uh, selaroofing.com they're ranked number one okay so they're getting over a thousand per month okay last month they had you know 20 about 23 2400 so on average around over a thousand per month so as you can see I mean the potential to more than 10 X your company is right there in front of your eyes um, so you're ranked number eight to be able to move you to number one I can tell you it's gonna be a process and we have the tools to do it um, but it's gonna be done so that that's pretty much the, the potential market in Minneapolis and I know that you service other cities um, so there's ways that we can bring business in from other cities by launching lead generation websites I'll get into that in a second and I'll even show you one of our other clients that we work with that had uh, that we were successful with um, so let me get into Google's algorithm how do we rank you on these sites so uh, Google has an algorithm and it has 200 determining factors don't worry I'm not gonna go about over all of them but I'm only gonna talk to you about four of the most important ones all right once we nail these everything else kinda falls into place um, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the site all right so so um, 80 percent of people are gonna look at your site from mobile mobile device so you have to be mobile friendly well, I can tell you right off the bat um, your site is mobile friendly just by looking at uh, the conversion rate um, so the next thing I want to talk to you about is authoritative content. Um, so what Google wants to know is, are you educating the prospect when they hit your site? Are you mentioning all of your services in the cities that you serve um, on your home page? All right, and you want to have at least 1,000, 2,000 words on the home page. Um, so whoever built your site did build it with SEO in mind. I can tell there's um, bolded keywords. 
Okay, this is important. Um, but the only thing that's missing is um, uh, authoritative content. So you want large chunks of information with all the services. So all the keywords we're going to rank you for to hit this potential 3,000, 5,000, you know, uh, visitors per month. You need to be ranked in all these keywords, not just one. Um, but we'll definitely get you target the most profitable ones. Um, so we want to build out at least a thousand words. So let me show you what a, what authoritative content look, look, looks like. I went to Google, typed in elephant. Wikipedia is notorious for these searches because of their authoritative content. So as you can see, I mean, everything you need to know about elephants, where they eat, evolution, uh, where they sleep, what they eat, everything. So this is what I mean. You want large chunks of information. About 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 words um, is going to be perfect for what we're trying to do for you. Unique, uh, relevant content with all the keyword research built in. Okay, so that's very important if we're going to get you ranked higher and get you more mentioned, mentioned across the internet to pull in more business. Um, so that's some of the on-page optimization stuff. Also, like your videos and your um, pictures, all those have to be named correctly. All these pictures, so we'll make sure that all this is taken care of as well. Right, so you want to build as many keywords as you possibly can into the site, especially the home page. All right, next, um, I'm going to talk to you about like off-page optimization. So to get you ranked in the local maps, you're going to want to have a 100% um, local citation profile filled out. So right now, uh, you have a 21% error rate in that. It's not 100%. All right, so. Um, some examples are these are obviously Google Maps, Yahoo, Facebook being yellow pages and the white pages. When you do them, the business name, address, and phone number have to be identical. If not, Google is going to penalize you. So it looks like in Yahoo, there's a discrepancy with your phone number, um, you know, discrepancy in the name and the address. You're missing listings. Again, the phone number, missing some listings. Uh, you know, missing listings again, phone number, name. So as you can see, you know, 21% error, it's quite a few that need to be fixed. And uh, again, there's thousands of these and we'll get you listed in the best ones over time. Um, and that's directly responsible for getting you ranked in the map. So now I'm going to talk to you about the meat and potatoes of SEO pretty much are the backlinks or influence pages. Um, so Google truly is a popularity contest. It's like running for president. The more votes you have, the more chances you're going to win the presidency. Um, so these backlinks are your votes, these influence pages I'm about to talk to you about. Um, so right now, it's there's it's saying that there's 10 referring domains, or there's 10 people online mentioning you, and the trust flow is the quality. So Google wants to know how many people are mentioning you online or linking to your site, and are they popular or not, pretty much. So that's the trust flow. So let me show you this chart. Out of five, you're meaning low quality, but not quite medium quality. So you're kind of down here, right? All right, so obviously the goal is to get you higher. Google wants to know what's high authoritative, high quality links linking to your site. So you want to be over 20. Okay, so we definitely want to bring this five up and then link more and more over time. So let me show you your top competitor. Um, that's these guys, right? Um, let me show you the power of their website. <clears throat> so as you can see, they have a over, over 100 links and their trust level is 15. All right, so 15, they're at medium quality. So that's really good for them. Um, so now let me show you some of our uh, clients that we've been had massive success with. So um, in San Diego, working with an auto dealer, they were on page three when we first started. Now there are three in the maps and number one organically in a 3.5 million city. That's a lot. So let me show you the power of this site. That's ranked number one. So look, 72 links. Trust flow 23, above 20, right? Let me show you another client. Uh, this is a party bus limo company. We built out this site for them, custom site, lead generation site in another city that's producing leads, uh, you know, 200 to 300 per month. Um, and it's ranked number one organically and just dominating the maps. All right, so let me show you the power of this site. And this, this same concept, lead generation websites, we can do this, especially for, it works very well in roofing. Um, so look, 19 links, trust flow 21, again, above 20. So that's the type of power you can expect um, from our links that we can point to your site. Um, I'll even show you our agency site, amplocal.com. So look, 13 and trust flow is 30. So very high quality. That's actually off the charts, right? Um, 
so that's again that's the type of power you can expect this is what's necessary to get ranked number one organically so this is how we're going to get you in this spot here from Indianapolis right because you're only down here so we just need to push links and po powerful links to get you up here and you've seen the potential market that you can reach from 40 to a thousand per month right so that's potential market and if you wanted to I know that on your site you've listed all the cities that you serve so all you know Minneapolis County or or what have you all here um, these are quite a few so as we point links you could rent you will rank uh, in certain cities right now you're not um, but also we can do lead generation websites um, it's another service where we can launch them in uh, different cities and just pull all the leads back to your business and literally you know 10 20 30 X you know and it's just scalable the sky's the limit once you go down that road so it's depending on how big you want to grow but for the local SEO and what I just showed you that's the path um, and, and we'll get you there so um, that pretty much concludes my analysis. I appreciate the time you took to watch it. Um, I really hope this made sense for you and your business. Me and my team are ready to take you on and bring you more roofing leads um, and get you ranked. Um, so again, you have a great day. If you have my information, please reach back out and we'll take the next steps. Okay. Again, thank you and have a nice day.